Welcome to an application of horsepower that requires the use of fractions. The development of the steam engine provided a reason to compare the output of horses with that of engines that could replace them. And there are several ways to define one horsepower. Mechanically, we can say one horsepower is equal to 33,000 foot-pounds per minute, which is the amount of power required to lift 33,000 pounds one foot in one minute. We can also say that one horsepower is equal to 550 foot-pounds per second, where this is the amount of power required to lift 550 pounds one foot per second. So these two are equivalent. Notice the units are different. This is per minute and this is per second. For comparison of an electrical engine, we can say one horsepower is equal to 745.7 watts. So we want to find the horsepower of a motor that has a torque of five and one-fourth pound-feet and has 2,750 revolutions per minute, where torque is the measure of a force's tendency to rotate about an axis. So to find the horsepower, we're going to use this formula here, where the horsepower is equal to two times pi times capital T, which is the torque, times the revolutions per minute, divided by 33,000. So now we can see where this 33,000 comes from, and when using this 33,000 here, the revolutions do have to be in revolutions per minute, as we see here in the units for one horsepower. So for this example, we're going to use an approximation for pi. Remember, pi is an irrational number. We'll use pi is approximately equal to 22 sevenths for our calculation. The torque, capital T, is going to be five and one-fourth pound-feet, and the revolutions per minute will be 2,750. Let's set this up on the next slide. So again, we're going to have the horsepower is equal to this fraction here, where the denominator is 33,000. And then we'll have two, which I'm going to write as two over one, times our approximation for pi, which we're using 22 sevenths. So because we're approximating pi, I'm going to go ahead and change this equal sign here to an approximation symbol. times the torque, which is five and one-fourth pound-feet. But let's write this as an improper fraction. So the denominator is going to be four. The numerator would be four times five plus one, which is 21. So five and one-fourth is equal to 21 fourths. And then finally times the revolutions per minute, which we know is 2,750, which I'll write over one. Now let's focus on finding this product here. Before we multiply, though, we want to simplify out any common factors between the numerators and denominators. Notice seven and 21 share a common factor of seven. There's one seven and seven and three sevens and 21. Four and 22 share a common factor of two. There are two twos and four and 11 twos and 22. And we also have a two over two here that would simplify to one. So notice in this product, all the denominators are now one. So our denominator is going to stay 33,000. And our numerator is going to be 11 times three times 2,750, which is 90,750. Now let's focus on simplifying this fraction. Both of these would be divisible by 250, so let's start there. Divide them both by 250. Ninety thousand seven hundred fifty divided by 250 is 363. And 33,000 divided by 250 is 132. Now at this point it may be more difficult to simplify, but remember the divisibility rule for three is very helpful, which means if the sum of the digits is divisible by three, so is the number. And since three plus six plus three is equal to 12, and 12 is divisible by three, so is 363. And since one plus three plus two is equal to six, and six is divisible by three, so is 132. 363 divided by three is 121. 132 divided by three 
is 44. And now notice they're both divisible by 11. So we have 11 fourths for the horsepower. So the approximation for the horsepower is 11 fourths. Let's also write this as a mixed number. So 11 divided by 4. There are two fours in 11. Two times four is eight. We subtract. We have a remainder of three. So I can also say the horsepower is two and three fourths. We have the whole number and the fraction is a remainder over the divisor. And three divided by four is 0.75, so I can also say the horsepower is 2.75. Let's go ahead and verify these results on a calculator. So we'll type in the product of these fractions here and then divide by 33,000. So we'll put this entire product in a set of parentheses, so we'll have two times 22 sevenths. I'm going to put the fraction 22 sevenths in parentheses as well, times 21 fourths, and then times 2,750. Close parenthesis, that's the numerator, and then we'll divide by 33,000. This does verify that our work is correct. We have 2.75 horsepower. If we press math, enter, enter, we can also verify that 11 fourths is also correct. I hope you found this explanation helpful.